Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's use Picasa to share photos online. So out of all the online photo sharing services, Picasa is probably the most underappreciated. It's Google service, so it's part of your Gmail account and Google profile. So if you already have an account, you have Picasa. All you need to do is go to picasa.google.com and maybe go through a couple steps just to add Picasa as one of your services and then download the Mac application so you can upload photos. So the application is a pretty simple application. It gives you access to your existing albums or allows you to create a new one. Give it a description, say whether it's public or unlisted, and then you could drag photos to it. Now you can drag photos from the Finder or you can drag them directly from iPhoto. So for instance, let's create a new album here. I'll bring up iPhoto and I'll just drag a photo right there from iPhoto into this area here. Do a couple of them. Then I've got the album name here. I can put a description. I'll make this one public. And I can add captions for each one of these photos. It shows what I'm signed in as. It allows me to pick what you know how to scale those photos. I can also use the plus button here to add some files and I can even go and browse and then using Snow Leopard I can use the media browser and actually delve into my iPhoto events that way as well. So when I'm done adding photos I'll just simply hit the upload button and it will create that album and upload the photos to it. So when it's done I can go directly to viewing these photos. It will launch Safari for me and go to this album here and I could see it here online. With the photos online, of course, I can send this URL to anybody I want, hitting the share button here, and it will allow me to send an email out. Uh, people then can download these photos. Uh, you can even, since I'm logged in as this user ID for this account, I can upload photos directly from the web browser here. And I can also edit the information for that particular album. Now, if I make the album private, save the changes there, then only people that have permission can see it. So what happens there is when I share I would use their Google account here and then they would get permission. They'd have to be logged into their Google account in order to view that album. Anybody else wouldn't be able to see it. Now back here in the application uh, I can see this existing album and it lists the albums there. I can then add more photos to that album very easily using the same application here. One of the big advantages that Picasa and other web sharing photo services have is the ability to publicly share your photos and have them all gathered together in one big place like Picasa here. And so you can search other people's photos. So say if I want to find uh, photos of waterfalls, I can search for waterfall and it will come up with photos other people have taken that they've tagged or put waterfall in the description. And I could do the same with my photos. I could put tags and uh, just descriptions and people could then search and find them. Picasa also has a slideshow functionality so if you're looking at somebody's photo album you click on slideshow and then browse through it or just play through it. And check this out. You can even embed a slideshow so you can upload some photos to Picasa and then set a slideshow up here and then copy this HTML and paste it in your page and it will give you a little flash app that puts a slideshow on your web page or blog. There are a lot of other features as well like you can use videos instead of photos. You could also map out where the photos were taken. Things like that. So a lot you can do with this free service from Google. You should check it out. It's a much better alternative than constantly emailing photos to friends to share them. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.